हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो आई एम बैक आई एम डॉक्टर स्मृति रेखा एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू ई ट्यूशन एजुकेशन फॉर बेटर टुमोरो इट्स अ डिजिटल लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर उड़िया एंड इंग्लिश मीडियम स्टूडेंट्स होप यू हैव ऑलरेडी डाउनलोडेड द ई ट्यूशन ऐप एंड यू हैव रजिस्टर्ड योर सेल्फ इफ यू हैव नॉट डन प्लीज डू इट इमिडिएटली ऑल्सो शेयर इट विथ योर फ्रेंड्स सो दैट they also can avail all the facility so without wasting much time let us go to today's topic so today i am not going to cover any new topic so what we are going to do today so today we are going to solve the problems from exercise 1.1 that is they are in your ncert book so before that let us just revise uh, what we have studied in the previous class so in the previous class we were discussing about the identities and inverse so in identity we have studied what Ident additive identity and multiplicative identity so what is identity so identity means in case of addition if you are adding a number with a with any positive integer you are getting the same result the result remains unchanged okay so what was the additive identity for the integer so it was zero right so basically in additive identity it was a plus zero is equal to a so zero was called additive identity of the integer what about multiplicative identity if a number is multiplied with an integer it gives the same result what was that number it was 1 right so multiplicative identity is your 1 because any number when multiplied by 1 it gives the same number right what do you mean by additive inverse so the number which when added to the number it gives the value as 0 so a plus minus a is equal to 0 so here minus a is the additive inverse of an of a also a is the additive inverse of minus a correct so what about multiplicative inverse it is nothing but the reciprocal so if you multiply the x into 1 by x the answer is equal to 1 so that is multiplicative inverse so here your 1 by x is your multiplicative inverse 1 by x is your multiplicative inverse of x and also if i will ask what is the multiplicative inverse of 1 by x it is x correct all these things we have discussed in the previous class so now using the properties of rational number and also these important facts we are going to solve problems from exercise 1.1 so are you ready with your pen and paper okay let us start doing the exercise okay so so this is the exercise question i have taken it from your book okay so today we are going to solve from question number 1 to 5 correct so i am not going to solve each one of them rather i will solve few of them and i will give few as your assignment so that you will complete in case of any doubt please get back to me okay so from each question i uh, each question i will be solving few problems so let us take the first question where you have to find out what using appropriate properties find the following so here i am going to in question number 1 i am going to solve this particular problem so what is your problem now so your problem is minus 2 by 3 into 3 by 5 plus 5 by 2 minus 3 by 5 into 1 by 6 correct so now you see 
in this particular case this group and this group can you see anything common over here yes that is a common over there so what we will do first first we will reorder it means we will change the sequence so that it will be easier on, on your part to solve the problem now when you are changing the sequence which law you are going to use which properties of rational number you are going to use it is commutativity right it is commutative law so what i am going to write now so i will just change the order and i will write like this so 3 by 5 and minus 3 by 5 into 1 by 6 plus 5 by 2 so which law i have used so you have to write down without forgetting the type of law which is being used otherwise marks will be deducted so in mathematics no for each and every line it is not that only you will get the answer the final answer is correct you will get the full marks no steps also has to be proper right so this is the first step so then what i will do so now you can see 3 by 5 is common so take 3 by 5 common then you will have what minus 2 by 3 minus 1 by 6 plus 5 by 2 so now which property you are using here you are using distributivity distributive law over subtraction correct or not so now what i will do so here 3 by 5 take the denominator as 6 minus 4 minus 1 plus 5 by 2 so 3 by 5 into minus 5 by 6 plus 5 by 2 so which law you have used here by distributivity or you can write down using distributive law or by distributivity correct so now what will be the answer so you can just do the multiplication over here so you are left with minus 1 by 2 plus 5 by 2 so that becomes your so 2 is the denominator so minus 1 plus 5 so that is equal to 4 divided by 2 and your answer is 2 so 2 is your answer so this is how by using the properties of rational number easily you can find out the answer correct or not so now i have done bit 1 for you so bit 2 of question number 1 is your homework correct so please do it so now let us go to the next question that is question number 2 it is very easy right what is there you have to just find out the additive inverse of the following so additive inverse means what additive inverse means which when added to this number gives the value as 0 so if it is if x is equal to 2 by 8 if x is equal to 2 by 8 then your additive inverse will be minus x so because we know x plus minus x is equal to 0 so you have to find out this minus x so what is minus x here so minus x is equal to minus 2 by 8 correct minus 2 by 8 so additive inverse of 2 by 8 is minus 2 by 8 so you are if you want to check it how you are going to check just check so you you check it like this so 2 by 8 plus minus 2 by 8 so your denominator becomes 8 2 minus 2 that is equal to 0 divided by something is equal to 0 correct so this is how 
the additive inverse of 2 by 8 is minus 2 by 8. Similarly, I will find out for the second bit. Second bit x is equal to what? Minus 6 by minus 5, which is nothing but equal to 6 by 5. So, what will be the value of minus x then? So, minus x is equal to minus 6 by 5. So, you want to check it? So, you can check it like this. So, 6 by 5 plus minus 6 by 5. Denominator is common. So, 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. So, similarly, B3, suppose your x value is equal to 19 minus 19 divided by minus 6, which is nothing but equal to minus 19 by 6. So, what will be the value of minus x then? So, minus x will be equal to 19 divided by 6. 19 divided by 6. So, you want to check it. So, if you want to check it, just check it like this. So, minus 19 by 6 plus 19 by 6. So, the answer is denominator is 6. So, minus 19 plus 19 is equal to 0. Correct or not? So, this is how. So, every time when you are writing the additive inverse, you can check it by using a plus minus a or x plus minus x is equal to 0. Very simple. Correct, no? These are very simple. You can solve it in fraction of second. Correct or not? Now, I have done bit 1, bit 3 and bit 5 for you. So, question number 2, bit 2 and question number uh, remaining, bit 2 and bit 4 is for is homework for you. So, you are going to solve it. And any doubt, you can get back to me. Correct? So, now let us go to question number 3. What is this? So, verify that minus of minus x is equal to x for 11 by 15. So, there were 2 bits in question number 3. I am going to solve one. Correct? So, uh, it, what is the number? 11. So, our x is equal to 11 by 15. So, I will write what? I will write x is equal to, so here x is equal to 11 by 15. So, additive inverse of x is what? Is minus x as x plus minus x is equal to 0. So, you have to write down all these steps to get the full mark. Simply don't write minus of minus x is equal to x. Okay. You won't get full marks there. You will get half of the mark for that. Okay. So, you have to write down each and everything properly. So, then using the same formula, if I write then additive inverse additive inverse of 11 by 15 is minus 11 by 15. Haj, same type I will write 11 by 15 plus minus 11 by 15 is equal to 0. Correct or not? So, in the same way you will just write it down. So, using the same equality using the same equality what we can write which equality we are using you are, we are using this equality using the same equality that is 11 by 15 minus 11 by 15 is equal to 0 indicates or shows that Additive inverse of minus 11 by 15 is 11 by 15. Correct or not? I had told you in the beginning, right? If x plus minus x is equal to 0, 
x is additive inverse of minus x minus x is additive inverse of x the same thing we are going to write it here so this can be rewritten like this now suppose and also you know that additive inverse is nothing but the negation of the number or the number with a minus sign so now what is your number number is minus 11 by 15 so negation of that how we are going to write it so you will write down in this form correct or not so minus minus 11 by 15 so what is the answer 11 by 15 so that is your value is what we had taken earlier x is equal to 11 by 5 15 correct or not so in place of x if you write 11 by 15 it becomes the same same thing no this and this it looks similar right only thing is in place of x here 11 by 15 is so here we have verified that minus of minus x is equal to plus x correct so you have to write down each and everything with proper steps now the other bit you are going to do it on your own okay now let us go to the next question what is this question find the multiplicative inverse of the following multiplicative inverse is nothing but the reciprocal reciprocal means what reciprocal means one if if the number is x the reciprocal is one by x so here for the bit one your number is what your number is minus 13 so x is minus 13 right so 1 by x will be so the multiplicative inverse will be what multiplicative inverse will be 1 by x that is equal to what minus 1 by 13 you if you want to cross check it how you are going to cross check it so x into 1 by x that is minus 13 into minus 1 by 13 so what is the answer answer is 1 correct or not so the multiplicative inverse of your minus 13 is what minus 1 by 13 so this is your this is your answer correct so now i will solve bit 3 of question number 4 so here x is equal to 1 by 5 so the multiplicative inverse is 1 divided by 1 by 5 so that is equal to 5 correct or not now it's time for bit 4 so here it is minus 5 by 8 into minus 3 by 7 so either you uh, multiply it and then find out uh, the reciprocal or you find out the reciprocal and multiply it so it is minus 5 by 8 into minus 3 by 7 so the multiplicative inverse will be what so we will just find out the inverse will be find out the reciprocal of individual term that is 8 divided by minus 5 into 7 divided by minus 3 so 8 divided by minus 5 into 7 divided by minus 3 will be the multiplicative inverse of this suppose you want to write it as a simplified just finding out the product so it will be 8 into 7 
is 56 divided by 15 so minus 56 by 15 here also if you will multiply it is the value is sorry, it, sorry it minus and minus here it is plus correct so this is plus so here also 5 into 3 it is 15 divided by 56 now you just check it correct so the if you check what is the answer so 15 by 56 into 56 by 15 is equal to 1 so either you can you can just write down that multiplicative inverse is 8 by minus 5 into 7 by minus 3 or 56 by 15 okay so this is how you will find out the multiplicative inverse of this number okay now let us go to the next question name the property under multiplication used in each of the following so consider the first case so in the first case what is written so minus 4 by 5 into 1 is equal to 1 into minus 4 by 5 that is equal to minus 4 by 5 so multiplication may agar answer unchanged rehta hai to usko kya bolta hai kya bolte hai identity hai na so it is which property is used? Multiplicative identity. And what is the number? Number is 1. 1 is the multiplicative identity. Correct or not? Now bit 2. Minus 13 by 17 into minus 2 by 7 is equal to minus 2 by 7 into minus 13 by 17 so here and here just the sequence has been changed so which which property is used commutativity correct na commutativity correct or not so law of commutativity so that means sequence is just the sequence is changed correct so now coming to the third one what is it minus 19 by 29 into 29 divided by minus 19 that is equal to 1 so which property is this you are getting one answer this oh, can you observe the second number second number is just the reciprocal of it if it is x this is 1 by x so which property is this very simple it is multiplicative inverse it is multiplicative inverse correct children so we have completed up to five so i have just uh, got this question again for you to mark what and all we have done so today i have solved problem uh, bit 1 of question number 1, 2 by 8, minus 6 by 5 and 19 by. So, here bit 1 I have done. This one I have done. Then, which one I have done? Minus 13 I have done. Then, this I have done. I think, which one we have done? Let us check. Yeah, so we have done this one. Okay, so and here the complete question I have done, right? So what are the homework for you? So this is the homework. Beat 1, 2 and question number 2. You have 2, beat 2, 4, beat 2. Here this one and this one this one and this one so all the rounded one is your homework okay so please complete all these things if you have any doubt please ask the question in your comment section 
I will definitely reply to it. Okay, children. So, for today, this much we will complete. Rest questions we will solve in the next class. Thank you for your patient hearing. Take care. Please visit the YouTube channel of ours. Follow us. Uh, subscribe. Share and like the videos. And don't forget to enroll yourself. Correct. So, bye.